Hey, it's me, Lee, and I'm gonna be talking about digital art today. Well, I've been doing digital art seriously for about two or three weeks now. It's been fun, but I have some, some things I wish I would have known before I started, so I'm gonna share those with you guys. And then also just share my experiences with the two tablets I've been using. So my first tablet is this Huon 640p tablet. They sent me this to try and it's kind of what pushed me to try and do more digital art. It's always a skill I've wanted to have, but something I've been really scared to try because it looks very difficult and scary, which I still think is true. But I did an unboxing and a first impressions video on this tablet. If you want to check that out, I will put it some, somewhere wherever it goes in this upper section and you can watch that video if you want, but no pressure, you can just stay here with me if you want. All my first impressions I still agree with. I think it's a really simple design that is very user-friendly. I find it really easy to understand and to start using. The best part about it, I think, is the price point. It's about $50 for the tablet. If you're thinking about trying digital art, I think this is a good tablet to start out on. So I also draw digitally on an iPad Pro and I can make really, really similar results with both products. So, good option for newbies. I'm going to use the Huon 640p tablet and my ancient version of Photoshop that I used to paint with it on and draw Red Panda, so I will play that over me giving you tips. So let's just start that. Let's just show you me painting it. Enjoy. All of these tips are pretty much to deal with being overwhelmed with digital art. I wanted to do digital art for a while. It's a skill I really wanted to learn more about. I was like, hmm, I'd like to try that, but it seems very overwhelming because that's, that's what kind of stopped me from trying it. The first tip is my favorite tip and my most helpful one for me. The digital artists that I admire most are digital artists that have really, really solid line work. And I jumped into digital art trying to do really solid line work and I found it really overwhelming. I didn't understand the brushes yet. I didn't understand how pressures worked with the tablets and it was really discouraging. After I realized that my biggest weakness in traditional art is line work, I decided that it would probably be better for me to build on the set of skills that I already had built doing traditional art and transferring that over to digital art. I was trying to combine a new medium with a new set of skills and instead I took the new medium and just combined it with skills I already had. As I'm doing here, I'm just blocking in colors, I'm not doing line work as I go. Whatever skills that you feel comfortable doing traditionally, I would just recommend starting with that digitally. If that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. My second tip is to try and experiment with tons of brushes, tons of color combinations, textures, color adjustments, layers. If you don't have an understanding of Photoshop really before using any type of drawing tablet, it's really helpful to get more comfortable with the program and see what features it has. I went in with an understanding for how to edit photos but not an understanding of how to use the painting features or the paint brushes really or not all the effects and adjustments and things and how they work together. And this is something I kind of skipped over but wish I had done. I tend to be impatient and jump into things but I recommend not doing that. But you know if you're impatient like me, you learn it eventually. Um, my third and final tip is to deal with the overwhelming rainbow that Photoshop offers you. That whole color wheel that's like, look at all these beautiful colors you could use. Go ahead and use them all at once. But what helped me was limiting my color palette. I go for about three colors and then build up and down in value with those three colors. I do branch out a little bit here and there for accents and transition colors and things like that but just having the guideline was really, really helpful. Another tip for limiting yourself was finding a couple brushes you really like. I pretty much painted this whole red panda with my brush pen and then did like a chalk brush over top for texture, which have been my favorites for my last three-ish paintings. That's all I have for digital art today. Sorry about my bird screaming in the background. Hopefully the tips might help you if you are thinking about doing digital art or, you know, maybe it will help you with other art. Why not? So I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and also give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it because that's just being a good person. So see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I nailed that outro. That was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool.